hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kobe, and this is Skytech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create this um, beautiful pricing table over here so let's say you have a website and then you want to add a pricing table to it um there is an easy way you can be able to create it um so easy okay i'm going to show you how you can be able to do this within some few minutes now if you are interested in it then please hit the subscription button and then like this video for me let's go into the video now we're gonna go to our dashboard okay so um let's let's go to our dashboard so i'm gonna go to the um exit to dashboard okay so i'm going over here and then exit to dashboard and i'm going to show you how i created this um let me let me update it first and then let me exit to dashboard now of course to be able to create this um you know um this pricing table we are using elementor to be able to create this pricing table so if you don't have elementor please make sure that you install elementor free version okay we are using the free version of elementor so um hover on plugins over here and then go to add new and then you search for elementor okay so make sure that you search for elementor and then you want to install elementor on it so this is what we want we install now the next plugin that we are going to use is called unlimited element so this is the plugin that we're going to install unlimited element for elementor free widget add-ons template okay so make sure that you install this one also click on install now and then click on what activate to activate um this plugin now now that you have this one installed over here now what we are going to do is we're going to you see you get this um you know this menu item over here which says unlimited element now click on it okay we will we are going to what we have to activate some other um you know plugins from the unlimited element over here so there are a lot of free things over here okay so you can do so many things using unlimited element okay using it now what we will um we are going to do is we're going to look for um let me see is it marketing here yeah. we're going to look for marketing over here so make sure that you find marketing widget over here okay and then locate pricing table okay now if um, you know if you install it new um, you you're gonna see that there is what something called free on this one okay just like what just like this one over here I see if I don't hover on it you see that there's what free um, written on top of it okay and the other ones to their pro the pro means what it is a paid one and a free is what is a free thing okay so with this one it will be what it will be free just hover on it like this and then click on what install okay with this one so now that you have this one also installed now we can what we can jump into what into elementor and then start with designing um the pricing table okay so what we're going to do is um, we're going to um, create a page okay so i'm going to create um, a new page over here so let's say i'm going to call it um the page table or tables okay and then over here i'll change the um, the template to what elementor full width and then um, because i'm using ocean wp theme i'm going to what disable the title okay so i'll go over here and then what disable the title and then i'm going to click on what publish over here to publish it now that it is published i'm going to click on this blue button over here which is edit with elementor to, uh, to edit it so i'm going to click on edit with elementor to start editing um, or start designing what the pricing table okay guys so this is elementor for those of you who don't know elementor elementor is just what um a drag and drop um, page builder okay we can use it to create websites um for free okay you just would drag um the widget over here and then you drop it over here and then whatever that you want it will do for you okay and that is what that is um specifically what elementor does so you can use elementor to design anything that you want to what you want to design 
now what we are going to do is very simple what we're going to do is we're going to click on this plus icon over here and then we are going to choose this um you know three session over here three column session over here so one two three okay now click on this you know um six dot over here and then come over here and then go to um the minimum height over here and then change it towards um the height over here, change it to minimum height and then we're going to use the vh okay vh okay so make sure that it is what it is set to 100 the vh is set to what 100 okay so now that we have this one um set up now let's click on over here click over here okay now before we even go there we want to set up our background for it so click on um the six dot over here and then let's go to a style over here okay so we're going to set up our background so as you can see um this is what the background is just like a, 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 um, a gradient dark you know um um is it pink with what with a dark what color okay that is exactly what we're going to set up so we're going to choose a background type which is what gradient over here and then what we're going to do is what the top one we're going to use what um this dark thing over here so i'm going to choose this um let me choose this one and then choose this you know kind of like a dark pink over here and then i'll come to the second color also and then the same thing over here and then i'm going to choose what um this dark also okay so it's gonna be something like what like this okay yeah so i like it this way now that i have this one done now the next one i'm going to do is what i'm going to just click on this um, plus icon over here and then over here search for tables okay search for table now you see this word pricing table over here okay so this one is also what the pricing table this one is also what the pricing table now this and this you can use any of them okay so we can either drag this one to here and then you're gonna have this one okay so as you can see so as you can see we have what we have already designed what um you know pricing table um for us okay we don't need to do anything all what you need to do is just change some few colors and then we are done okay now we want to give a small space um at the top and bottom over here so we're going to click on the width um the session over here and then we go to what we go to advance of it and then we will give what um you know top of let's say 90 bottom of what 90 okay so that there will be what there will be space at the uh, top and bottom now let's click on this um this you know um pencil icon over here and then we will what we will um you know start editing our our um our um pricing table okay so what we're going to do is what um you know just change some few things so let's say um this one is um you know let's say let's say it is what 29 okay so 29 which is reduced to what um 20.99 okay so um that is it and then um it is per month and then you can add with the button link over here okay so the button link over here whereby somebody can click over here and then it will take the person to it um you know the checkout and all those things you can add it over here okay now of course if you are creating this one you can use woocommerce to, to you know create the product itself and then link this one to it, to it okay now let's go to style to style the what the whole thing so um we want to change the colors of what of um of the you know the pricing table over here so if you go over here as you can see you see that this is what um this is the color that we use for this one okay so um you know we're gonna um go through all those things and then we choose the perfect color that we want okay so um we will start from the header okay so with the header over here we're going to choose the color that we want to use so i'm going to post paste the color click over here and paste the color over here and you see that this is what this is the color that we used okay now i'm going to what uh, make sure that the color um, circulates through all the what all the places that i want to change the color so um now that i've you know changed the header now I'll go straight to what, the list over here okay and then scroll down and then also change the what change 
um, you know this color is also now I'll go to the button also and then also change the colors over there okay so i'll go to button background type i'll change what the color over there now um the next one is what is the you know the badge okay which is the sales badge now i'm going to change this one also to the color that what we are using okay so as you can see the color that we are using is what 572 ce0 okay that is the color that we are we are using for this one now left with what the icon okay so um i'm going to go to what the um the icon also so where is it is it um the graphic element over here and then i'll choose the icon color and then change it to what to the one that i want so as you can see it is what it is clearly what done okay now what we are going to do is what we will have to what um, you know change the pricing um colors and other stuff so that it will be what it will be visible for us okay i'm going to make it this one white pure white okay and then um when i come to you know the the this um color also i'm going to change the typography and make it what monserrat okay so um i want to change the typography let me see yeah so i want to change the typography of the um you know the new price and make it what monserrat so i want to change it to monserrat and then you know the weight i want to change it to what 800 okay so that will be a little bit what bold up uh, bold for me okay so now that i have this one done i'm good to go so i'm done with the first one now all what i need to do is uh, copy this one okay come over here right click and then what and then paste it over here okay the same one applies to this one copy right click and then what paste it over here okay now i have what three different what um you know table um three different um table over here now what i need to do is uh, just click on the second one and then also um you know change the colors that i want so i'm going to pick the color and then um with this one i'm going to call this one premium price uh, plan okay so i'm i'll say what premium plan over here so as you can see i have what premium plan over here now um you can what you can choose to say whatever you want to what write over here okay it depends on whatever you are what you are selling that you are using this pricing table to sell okay so with the prices also um, i'm gonna give this one with nine 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 point nine nine and then over here i'm gonna say what um 49 okay 49.99 now with the colors also what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to style over here and then change the colors one after the other so as you can see we're going to go straight to the header over here okay so i'm going to click over here and then pick the color and then come back and paste it over there so i'm going to paste the color over here so as you can see this is the color that we are using now i'm going to go to the graphic element also change this color paste it over here now the next one is what is the list okay so i'm going to go to the list um change this color and paste it over here now the next one is the button okay so i'm going to go to the button over here and then also what change the what the button what color okay so the button color too has been changed now the last one is what is the badge okay the sales badge so i'll go over there and then also change one so as you can see now i have this one also what done okay so the next one is what is this one okay so with this one what is the color so we have this kind of what green um nicely green over here so um what i will do is what i'm going to change this one and then change it to what a smiling face okay so um let's say i'm going to use smile a smiling what face okay so um let's say i'm going to use the what this one over here paste it in it over here like this now with this one i'm going to use what a diamond what um you know diamond icon okay so i'm going to search for diamond okay and i'm going to use what this one over here and then insert it over here okay so that is what that is it now i'll come to this one and then also do the edits that i want to so with this one i'm going to call it a gold plan okay so this one is the gold plan 
now you can like i said you can change um you know the subtitle over here okay now with a good plan the price is what um 199 and then um you know it is going for 149 okay 149.99 and that is what the gold plan now um the next one is what to go to the um, style over here now i can what i can go through the header okay change the what the color over here so i'm going to pick the color change it and then we we'll move on okay so the color that we are using is this color which is what 2ce 0b8 okay that is what the color that we are using so um i'll go to the graphic element also change it to what the same color which is 2ce 0b8 okay and then i'll go to what um you know the the list over here and then also change what the list icons also to the same what color and i'll go to the button also change what um the button with color okay i'm going to change the button color now the next one is what is the badge okay so um with the sales badge i'm going to what i'm going to change it to it to the color now as you can see um the color combination is all good everything is what very colorful and then we are good to go so now i can what i can update it um you know to make sure that the changes that i've done what takes what effect so now as you can see um if you if you open it this way you can what you can see a very nicely designed what pricing table for you now if you go to if you want to what um you know make it responsive you can of course make it responsive by clicking on the responsive mode over here and then you know check it on what on um how do you call it the tablet mode okay you cannot you can check it on the tablet mode and then check it on what on the mobile mode also so everything is what everything is um, responsive now you can click over here and then you know um make sure that you what you give an all round what pattern for what for it so let's say i want to give it what 50 all around so i think you know this one is um quite yeah this one is what 20 is what quite okay okay so you can give it to it all round of what 20 for the mobile and then everything is what everything is good to go now if you come to what the um you know the the tablet also if this place is what is too close to the what the side edges of what the tablet you can you know um, make sure that you also what you also give it like let's say 20 okay which is what which is quite okay for the tablet or so and then you are what you are good to go and when we come to the what when you come to the desktop everything is what everything is perfectly done and we are what we are good to go so guys this is how you can be able to what um you know create a pricing table for your website okay now if you are done with it make sure that you what you update it okay now let's take a look at it on the what on the front end let's take a look at it on the what on the front end so as you can see this is what um this is how you can be able to create a very unique and nice pricing table for your what for your website so simple and so nice thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye